I think there is a huge trend in people wanting to have influence on the stuff surrounding them, be it the food or the clothes or the furniture. And I think that is awesome. And platforms like YouTube allow a lot of knowledge to be spread all over the world. And that is great that people are not stuck and just, this is my role, I'm the consumer, I can only buy things, but to get some tools, get out there and make stuff that suits their needs. My name is Laura Kampf and I make videos for YouTube. When I started studying design, which is probably 10 years ago by now, um, I came up with all these ideas and concepts and I needed to buy prototypes for these ideas and I didn't want to let anybody else do that so I decided I need to get, I need to learn the skills of building stuff and it all started with electronic projects and hot glue gun and a whole lot of messes um, and eventually it evolved into metalwork and then woodwork. I prefer working with wood um, because it's slower, I have more time, I have to respect the wood a lot more than I have to respect steel. Steel is a lot faster and aggressive and wood just, it takes, it takes time to work with wood. The, the glue needs to dry. Uh, you need a lot more skill in my experience, at least for the projects that I do. Um, so I have more time to think when I'm working with wood and to relax. I think my workshop is the most important tool that I have. This is where I obviously gather all my materials and where I store all my tools. Um, but the, the space itself is very important for me because I uh, recharge here and I, I'm inspired. I listen to music, I watch movies and whatever the project is that I'm working on, I need, I need, I need a different set of tool for that. So it's really cool to have this huge space where I can store my saws and have the welding room and have like all the woodworking stuff over here and pick whatever tool is essential for the project. Every project has something that I'm interested the most in. So let's say with this beautiful slab of walnut, you can already tell like when we put it through the thicknesser, the grain will pop and then the thicknesser is my favorite tool because that, that is what made this happen. Um, but it changes from project to project. My dream project is probably always the project that I'm working on right now. I know that there are huge things that I would like to do, like building a big raft and sailing that, or building my own camper, but it's also very rewarding to work on the little things. So I don't really have a dream project. It's whatever is on my workbench. In my spare time, I basically do the exact same thing that I do in my professional time. Um, the only difference is that I don't film it. So when I take a day off, I usually still come to the shop and make something for myself and just not film the process because that's obviously a lot of work to document it all, to edit it and then upload it and all that. So when I really want to do something for myself, I come here, turn up the music and build something and not document it. My favorite music, it's, it's hard because there are obviously so many genres, but I'm into rock and electronic and hip hop. A huge Frank Turner fan <laughs> with all the posters in the shop. And movies, I, I love to watch horror movies. Um, and that's, it's also, when I'm here in the shop, I usually put on a, a movie and I start watching it for a couple minutes and then I get like, oh no, I really should work on this. And then I stop the movie, I work for an hour and then I go back to the movie, watch another 10 minutes and then I go back to work and that's like my favorite thing to um, switch these things, like watching movie, listening to music, working again, back and forth. That, that's really enjoyable to me. Another big hobby, obviously, is my dog Smudo. And he's also the one who um, structures my day. So since this is what I want to do all day, every day, it's sometimes really hard to take a break. But then the dog comes and I, I can feel his stare in, in the back of my head and I know, okay, it's time for a break. And I walk him um, at the Rhine or wherever. We take a break, we get some food, sometimes we take a nap. And so yes, Mudo is responsible for my breaks and I'm very thankful that he does that.